Welcome Hello, to the ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to Warp Logic's Idiots Talking, episode 5. Five? Is that 5? It would be 5. Okay, 5. Today... We don't actually know. We're just guessing. Today, no, we're not guessing. But we don't know if the other one's actually 4. So how come it is know? actually 4. Did you check? Communism Sucks was episode 3. Oh yeah, this is 5. <laughs> oh yeah, counting. <laughs> anyway, um... So, as you can see, I don't know if you guys have heard of this news organization. It's known as The Intercept. It is, I haven't. Yeah, you probably haven't. It's Glenn Greenwald. He's the guy. He's a reporter who helped Edward Snow with the, the NSA leaks. Uh, Jeremy Scahill and other... It's all the real reporters and not people like on Fox News or MSNBC um, or CNN or really anywhere. What about the Rigby show? What? What about the Rigby show? What is that? Oh, no, it's the O'Reilly Show. Yeah, the O'Reilly Show. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that that is not a rep. That is not the best news station to watch if you want to know anything that's actually happening. At all. Okay. You've been watching it, haven't you? I. It just happens to be on, and I'm there. Yeah. Don't don't. Don't take this guy's do a well assault. It's very right wing. MSNBC is very left wing. CNN is supposed to be a balance between the two. Why are you rubbing your head like that? That is so weird. <laughs> I am not rubbing my head like that. He's just kind of like moving his head on his pillow. It's very sexual. I'm rubbing my head against. It's making the couch. me uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway. So they break, they give big old groundbreaking stories and stuff. And the most recent one, and this is why we're doing this topic, is you can get hacked just by watching this adorable cat video on YouTube. Uh huh. So, wow. he, so here's Show how. Show me how so I can do it. It works. All right. So you will get hacked watching this video. <laughs> probably. Um. Watch. Okay. <laughs> a See lot of. A lot of people think that you need to do something stupid to get hacked into, like clicking on the wrong attachments, clicking download when you're trying to download a Minecraft mod, and you realize that that download now button was actually just an ad to give you a bug, or like internet porn, for example. All these things are infamous for getting you hacked. But you don't need to do stupid stuff to get hacked. You just need to watch a funny cat video. Yes. Which is stupid. <laughs> so really, you need to do stupid stuff to get hacked. Um, make a long story short, you can get hacked the NSA by the NSA by watching this video. That's the long story short. Without any oh, social so commentary. I can go to a cat shit thing. A cat shit thing? I remember there's a cat foot. I'm going to go to a cat shit thing. You yeah. can't move around the mouse when we're recording. I'll edit it out. Continue now. God damn it, Ben. Oh, I, I hate cat know. pictures. I hate cat pictures. He has spent like 10 minutes getting that to work. <laughs> my, my desktop is so cluttered, I couldn't find All right. cat now, pictures. Alright, that, now that story I was telling is finished now, but I'm going to go back to it. Because now you got a cat picture. <laughs> so watching a cat video gets you hacked. Here's a picture of a cat. <laughs> In this video. Um, Alright. <laughs> I don't know what to show you. Alright. Okay. Continue talking. Back the only thing you need to do to render... This is... I'm not going to quote, actually. Don't quote it. Oh, if, I, if I acknowledge quoting it, then there's no problem. Okay. This was written by Morgan Marquis Boyer, or however that's pronounced, on The Intercept, which I assume you guys can guess because that's the topic. You can get hacked just by watching this cat video on YouTube. Cats. Is that what the video is called? No. It's actually called, like... Oh, what's it called? Funny, Funny Cats Compilation. Must see. Funny Cat Video. Ah, of course. There's a generic name. Perfect for getting all the suckers. Alright. The only thing you need to render your computer's secrets, your private conversations, everything... Is on your computer... Watch a video. Is to watch a cute cat video on YouTube. And catch... The uh, interest of a nat nation or law enforcement agency that has a hun that one that has one million dollars or so to spare, right? Right. So pretty much, uh, mm, don't want. Is it this cat right here? No, it's a different cat. 
Oh. Uh, it's, a cat, it's a compilation. Have you watched your video? Are you a victim? <laughs> it's a compilation of cats. So. so it could be this cat. Could that could could very well be in there. He's a victim. So no, it uses network injection appliances. He's a perpetrator. Which uh, use physical machines deployed inside internet service providers around the world to offer a simple exploitation of targets. Okay. Do you understand that? Nope. Keep talking. Network injection appliances. These are racks of physical machines deployed inside internet service providers around the world, which allows for simple exploitation. Ah. I'm not directly quoting any of this, but these are all actual words in the article. You're quoting the word the. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so, like, Google is a bit better, but obviously... Not good enough. Someone will copyright you for using the word the. <laughs> uh, you're not allowed to say the word the on YouTube. <laughs> or injection. <laughs> or appliances. Or cat. <laughs> cat, that's illegal. Cat especially. <laughs> or malicious. Or internet. Or traffic. Or victims. In fact, I am being copyrighted that right now for explaining this to you. Actually, I'm, I gotta take myself to prison. Can you take yourself to prison? Yeah, that would be really nice. <laughs> here's, a crip, here's a creepy picture of Obama wearing... Oh, that's a creepy picture. If only we were showing that! What is it? It's like Obama with these red binoculars. Okay. Dun, dun, there it is! Why did you bother... Ugh. You wanted it to. Uh, yeah, but I didn't... I was, it was partially sarcastic. So... Obama with uh, red binoculars. Terrorist tracking system with numbers. Here's a picture of people. With numbers? With They're numbers. holding numbers over their head? Yes. Um, so how's it work? It uses uh, uses technology. That's what it uses. Um, pretty much have a watch list of people who are, can possibly be considered terrorists, right? right? thing is, most people on that watch list, uh, let's see. 280,000 of the people on that watch list are not recognized as any terrorist group affiliations. They're just put on there because they might one day possibly be a terrorist ever, ever. Am I on there? No, you're white and rich. Ah. Uh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good you, you're not on there. For example, you get, you get stopped when you go on, go on airplanes, local law enforcement can be told, etc. It can make your life kind of hell. Well, that's... I don't want to vote for him now. Even if... Well, <laughs> too late. Uh, even if... Even if you've not been recognized... By the way, he's terrorist wearing a leather jacket. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Does he ever wear another jacket? Well, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> so, very... Uh, a significant portion of the people on this are not affiliated... With any terrorist groups whatsoever. Whatsoever. So no terrorists. No, over 40% are described as having no terrorist affiliations. But they're on the terror watch list. 47,000 people. I bet you half the reason why they're on there is because at some point they said screw America. No, that's not why. Don't ruin it. <laughs> 47,000 people on the no fly list. No, they have... Pretty much what it does is it scans people in a certain area. It scans people in a certain area, right? Oh, so it's being areaist. Sort of, yeah. So, for example, if you're a young man, if you're a certain age in, in Yemen. In South Philly. No, in Yemen, right? If you're at a certain age in Yemen and you're Muslim, for example, you could be put on this watch list, even if you're only just a, uh, a young man in Yemen who's Muslim. Perfect. That could get you on this watch list. A huge number of Americans are on this watch list. For we can we can barely even figure out why they're even on here at all. Some of them it just seems mm, they're Muslim. Throw them on the list. Uh. Pretty and and uh, Muslimness is the the fastest growing. <laughs> Very soon they're gonna be watching. All the people in the world. For it's terrorism. about it's the fat it's the fastest growing religion in the world. Yeah. <sighs> Screw Christianity. Yeah, the one with the Pope. <laughs> that's the one with the Pope, right? Yeah. That's it. The new Pope is pretty great. I mean, I'm then, sure he's then, doing then, all sorts didn't of Didn't he let stuff. someone ride in his limo? 
the Pope Mobile. <laughs> That's what it's called. The Pope Mobile. Then someone. <laughs> um. Yeah, he did. And pope I mean, I'm man. sure he's creepy, but he's the best Pope we've had in a long time. Ah, uh, I can't even remember. A pope he's coming to him. Philly. Oh, the Pope before him was lame and like retired. Yeah. Oh. Okay then. Like the first pope in like hundreds of years. I'm looking at a book that says fascism. Fascism? You mean? No, Not fascism. Fascism? Where? F A S C I S M. What does that mean, actually? Where? There. I'm not believing you're reading this correctly. Where? It's a book that says fascism. Can you point me? Yeah. Fascism. Oh my god. <laughs> really, Benji? What? Fascism. What does that mean? What? Fascism. What? Fascism. Oh my god. I'm actually going to just give you... You don't know either. Deal. Description. Fascism. Fascism! <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fascism! That's how you oh. spell it! Oh. I thought that was just an S. No, wait. It was an H. <laughs> Fas? Jism! Fascism! 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 Fascist! Fascism! I have to say in it! Deal with it! But shouldn't it have an H? Oh, that's right, we're English. It doesn't have an H! No, it should not have an H, that wouldn't make sense. Then that would be fascism. That would be fascism. No, that would be fascism. Fascism. No. Fascism. No. Fascism. Fascism works. It's not fascism. It's fascism. Fascism. Oh my god. You're getting me pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> now, um, did you know about the stuff happening in Ferguson, Ferguson earlier this week? Ferguson. Ferguson Field? Ferguson. Ferguson. Yeah, in Ferguson. Ferguson Field. Oh my god. How did you not know? What is the stuff happening in Ferguson? Uh, riots? Yeah. Uh, what were they didn't, about? Didn't the cop shoot a kid? Wow, that's really descriptive. There were riots and a cop shot a kid. Or... Because a cop shot a kid. Alright, cop shot black kid. Unarmed. Unarmed black kid. Um, it was in the car, actually. Like, in the police car. They no! Okay. Alright, so the stuff happening with Ferguson. Apparently, this barely matters though. Well, it, it, not that it barely matters, but this is not what the actual story is. The cop shot this unarmed kid through the window. The kid started running. The cop got out, I believe if I'm remembering this correctly, and shot him as the kid was running away. I believe that was what happened. But that is not nearly as important as what happened on... Oh, this, this is a story from Glenn Greenwald. I think, I believe what happened on the 13th, I believe it went really crazy on the 13th. So there were people protesting and stuff about this happening for like a few days. What pretty much happened is they brought in like SWAT teams and the police. And the tank. That wasn't a tank. Oh. <laughs> yes? Yep, one sec. They brought the they brought the police, they brought in all this stuff. And it wasn't what many people think the police um are. They don't you don't think of the police and think of people with their big old machine guns, sniper rifles. They're putting laser scopes on people and blasting tear gas at them, firing bullets into crowds. Wait. Rubber they, bullets. They were sniping people with tear gas. No. <laughs> They were, they were putting tear gas out there. They were putting laser scopes on people. Uh, apparent, I believe they used some heat ray technology. It's a thing. Did they use sonic sound? No, I don't believe they used any sound technology. Uh, two reporters were arrested in a McDonald's. For at a McDonald's? At a McDonald's. They're accused of trespassing at the McDonald's during opening hours. <laughs> <laughs> they were held... For out for a few hours, 
Then they're released. They Here's what they need to do. They need to fire everyone in that police department. No, it's not that police department. Whatever the problem is, they it's need to fire It's all the police. It. It's So we have to fire all the police? Yes. No, what we have to do is you have to take away military-grade sniper rifles from the police. The police never are going to need military-grade sniper rifles. And a tank. And not a tank, but a heavily armed vehicle with a machine gun on it. So a tank, but with a machine gun instead of the thing that launches rockets. <laughs> sure, it's like a tank, but instead of the machine gun, it's like a... Oh, it's I like never a, said instead of. I no, said it has a machine gun. It has a machine gun instead of the thingy that fires the rockets. Boom, boom. Yes, I don't actually know what the thing is called, so I call it the thing that fires the rockets. It makes sense. So that is the horrors that happened within Ferguson. You guys should definitely check out the intercept for more in-depth reporting. And please and like and subscribe because it may seem. With the chocolate ads in the last podcast and then going to here, we're getting product placement money. We most definitely are not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so we are or we are not? No, no, no. We, I just forced you to do these things and told you there's product placement money in it, but there's actually not. Yeah, but there isn't any. <laughs> wait, wait, look, wait, what I hear you saying is there isn't any money. That's what I hear you saying. Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. Okay, goodbye people, outro. So, check out The Intercept and uh, another reputable news organization called Democracy Now! for some nice in-depth reporting on topics we grazed in this. We didn't even really go in-depth and some of the stuff I said was... So all we knew... And some of the stuff I... No, I know I've been keeping track with all these stories, but I didn't want to go heavily into any of the stories, so I just gave short, concise things. And some of them weren't even, like... Even the beginning of the story. Okay, okay, okay. So, we started out with a cat video that you can get hacked from by watching it. Yeah. And we ended with, what did we end with? The Whores in Ferguson. The Whores in Ferguson. Out next month. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye people. Web logic supported by viewers like you. Thank you. Bye.